Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Calculator Skies, and uh, probably get a few things automated today, right? So I am going to set up a new channel, and uh, what's a good color to use? Cyan, maybe. So we need some cactus. Yeah, that's probably good for now, and some lapis. All right, so we'll just do that. And, you know what? Stop it. We'll just do that. There we go. So we're going to go triple cyan for the machines we're going to be setting up here soon. And I'm going to need probably at least one more of these, so we'll just do that. Cool thing about ender chests, if you uh, change your mind, you can re-dye them to, to uh, different colors. All right, so we got some more steel made up. Good. Uh, one thing I was looking at is we need... Uh, we need crude oil, right? Which we can get from creosote oil. Which, you know, catalytic conversion, all these wonderful things, right? You can even do hay bales into charcoal. That's interesting. Now, coal into coal coke gives us the most creosote oil. Not too, too you know, too terribly worried about that right now. Uh, we can even do sugar cane. Hmm. Although the wheat field thing is kind of is kind of sort of tempting, actually. Uh, what am I looking at for wheat in here? Fifteen, yeah. About uh, seeds. Oh yeah, we got plenty of seeds. All right. So I am going to actually move you into there, so we actually have hay bales on demand. And about our farming station, we need everything. Okay, we need a pulsating crystal. Easy enough, right? Okay, I was going to say, are you going to hang around there? We need two vibrants. Yeah, let's just uh, make a bunch of these, I think. Okay, we need solarium, which we actually have in there. I need another machine chassis. I'm going to need two of these energized bimetal gears. And got to hit the little arrow button first. There we go. So I'm going to need one of these. And come on. There we go. So cell, biotite, which does not automatically stack up in a uh, compacting drawer, unfortunately. Uh, we need also Infinity Biometal Gears, right? I need two of these things. Getting a little low on the a little low on those, actually. So let's just grab sixteen of these. And there we go. So nope, not you. Uh flawless. Yeah, the dynamic calculator doesn't work for, for those recipes. It works for all the other calculators, just not flawless. And then you plus you. Done. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and put the lapis away as well. Uh, how are we doing on dark steel? We've got a few, right? So um, I need dark. How about we use dark at Ender? And oh, good lord. All the glass. Um, I need. Well, I don't need. I want a dark backhoe. So let's put that in there. Might need a dark axe as well. We'll go ahead and get that. And let's go ahead and grab our dark backhoe. And that'll last for a decent amount of time. And. Better than a hoe for mechanical use, which eh, sounds like a good idea. Can I make an inforged hoe? I am out of end diamonds, okay. I don't happen to have one of those in here, do I? No, how about... Over here? No, but I'm getting kind of backed up in circuit skin. Okay, I need to automate that too. So, no hoe for us, huh? It could be worse. 
I, I do have to, if I want to do this, I have to do the empowering thing. Um, what happens if I just look up Ho, right? Okay, got it. A good amount of things in here. The Flawless Diamond Ho. Electric Ho. Okay, let's, uh... I don't happen to have an electric one, do I? No, uh, if I did, I got rid of it, I think. Do, 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 you. Uh, there is a chance, 0.02% chance of getting it from the thing. Oh, Platinum Ho in here, too. I'm looking for something unbreakable. So, Enforged it is, then, because that's the only actual unbreakable one. Uh, I need Electric Diamond, so I'm going to need... I need two of you. We got a decent amount of Flawless Diamonds now, which is nice. And I need, like, four Blaze Rods, right? All right, and this will make us a Fire Diamond. Actually, it'll make two of them. I can come up to here, drop you guys into here. I need to get a, a Conductor Mast box going as well. You know, similar to these, like this one. Put items in here to get smelted in that thing. Oh, previous episode just rendered. Um, and uh, the other one is for the starlight transmutation. For the for the dunking. There we go. Oh, I had thirty-two electric diamonds. Wow. Got I had that many. Okay, cool. So. No, actually, I need just two of you, a couple of obsidian, and I need uh, instone, right? Times three. I grabbed three instone. Whoops, I only needed two, actually. Here we go. And it's you guys like that into diamond. And now I can... Run you through and just with sticks. All right, perfect. Like that, All right? Now it's funny. It'll pull from my inventory, but it won't pull from this crafting grid up here. Really strange that way. But now we have an unbreakable hoe. And uh, the farming station. I never actually made it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we do have the farmer from actually additions, but uh... okay. I just need a Z logic controller then. Uh, let's see, it's zombie, zombie head, couple of silicon. Oh, look at you. That's awesome. Uh, let's see, redstone times one. And then two solarium. I can probably put that dark steel back too. Uh, don't need that. Uh, slice and Splice. And drop you in. Alright, so. Give it a second here. Alright. Farming station is a go. Uh, capacitor, please. Thank you very much. I got... I'm glad I made a whole bunch of those. It was a pain at the time, but... It was definitely worth it. And the farming station was a quest. I guess the farmer actually was a quest. I've just already done it and I forgot I had. Uh, farming station. Uh, okay, I just got a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, dark axes will be useful for these guys. Slice and slices. Dark backhoe is pretty much only for farming stations, but... Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, not you. No, not you. Dang it, you. Uh, six rows. Uh, seven. Okay. And you have holding four, right? Uh, yeah, you do. Okay. But you're, sig you're only Signalum. I did Enderium. I could get you to get a little bit bigger. And Enderium Blend is pretty standard, actually. Okay. Which we can just do 
you know, Resident Ender in a uh, Magma Crucible. Oh, yeah. Hmm, that's an idea. Not something I need to worry about right now. Uh, let's go ahead and put this away, too, actually. So I'm going to need a good amount of dirt, and I need to get this stuff, you know, running as well. Because I can make dirt using stone separators. Make gravel and dirt, so... Um, yeah, I really should do something with that. In other words, well, I keep forgetting about it, and I know one of these times my system is going to shut down, I'm not going to be able to access any of my items because I completely forgot to harvest nether wart. And that'll probably be the point in time where I decide, you know, enough's enough, I should do something about this. So now here's a question, right? Uh, let's go ahead... Well, you already grew, and you have a creepy eyeball in the middle of your plant. Uh, does the farming station putting slash fortune on tools applied when harvesting upgrade with capacitors to increase range? Upgrade also increases power use. There's power and appropriate tools. Plants and harvest crops. I don't think it right clicks them. That's what I want is a right click harvester, like a plant interactor. That would be great, but we don't have that mod. All right. Well, for now, I am going to put farming station down there. I'm going to have you show range of three, huh? So if I was to go one, two, three, right? The seven by seven, so then one, two, three. Oh, yeah. If I just put it right there, it'll be fine. Okay. Right. Right there. Kept your capacitor. You got a little bit of power from my capacitor just now. Do I have any flux points on me? I do. Okay. Uh, okay, now. Um, you need water as well. So, on doing. I'm going to need some of you. I am going to need some of you for power and some of you for items. And good. You down, you down, and then you. And I think it'll be fine. You know what? one block higher it's not going to look as attractive but well this is all slapped underneath isn't it right here okay now let's do that underneath actually that way i don't have to worry about it interfering with any uh, crops growing all right so you can have these right go ahead and lock you uh you can have a hoe and look at that what are you working all right so let's go ahead get our conduiting in uh one three i don't know why i just i went completely blind there and i could not see any of the conduiting, right? So, and then let's just go ahead and do like so, right? Power can go there. Look up to our main power network. I have triple white inner chest can go here on insert and Do, 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 do. There we go. Realized. Got a step. And you can be extract always active. And then I just need a triple blue ender tank, right? What I got going on for this? Uh, yeah, triple blue.
you're on a charging, you just need a little more of this, don't you? So I tend not to use my remote because it doesn't actually have a huge um, reservoir for power or nutrient distillation. I have a question. What the hell? Oh, it's, that's 9,000 is why. I thought it was just nine. Like, why do I have no, just nine ingots? No, it's 9,000. I'm a genius. Occasionally. Rarely. All right. Uh, tank, right? Intertank, do I have any? I do not have any intertanks. Okay. Do I have the ability to make an intertank? Right. This thing, right? Um, I am missing literally just a cauldron. Okay. Should put that in my inventory. Dang it. Oh, I'm missing one atomic binder. Oh, dang it. Well, there's one there. I can put the dirt away, actually, because I don't need that anymore. And, yeah, I can't even take accelerate these, can I? Uh, oh, hey, cool. I just need this one that's actually cooking up right now, because there was one in here. Sweet. Wonders never cease. Ah, uh, calculator screens. I should probably put those into the filter. I'll worry about it later, because I have to I have to turn it off. If I don't remember to turn it off, I end up voiding everything in the box. Uh, demon steel, please. Or demon ingot, not demon steel. Demon steel is Project Ozone, and that is, yeah. Ozone 2, you know, it's a good one. Uh, you can go there. There it goes. And you're done. All right, cool. Which means I can then take you, put you there. I just need some lapis. I'll be three of those. Go ahead and do this right now where I can actually see what I'm doing. And yeah, we've already got wheat growing. All right, cool. Go ahead, throw you in right here, and we will tell the fluid conduit. Always, you know, extract always active. You are full of water now. Awesome. I actually believe it uses water to uh, help accelerate the growth speed of crops. So by putting it here, I'm missing out on oops, uh, basically three growing spots. One, two, three. That's fine. Here's a question. <laughs> I did have greenhouse glass left. Okay, uh, tell you what. You go here, right? Just for a uh, block to set things on. Do that, and then right here, it's a moot point to have that one. And mainly using these because I already had these made up. But I only really had enough for like half. A little over half it looks like, but yeah. I'll have to get that finished up later on. The ultimate plan is maybe to have three more of these down here, harvesting different things. Because I can separate these out by quarter. Northeast, southeast, you know, so on and so forth, right? And I think I'm going to need a lot of prismarine eventually. Well, prismarine shards and crystals, right? Now, thing is, is you can actually make these from prismarine shards. But I really only have to automate the shards. Actually, I meant to send that back. All right, so we have our wheat, op you know, 
operated. Yeah, uh, we have our eat running. Uh, let's see. One thing I should probably get into, though, is limited item filters. So, yeah, redstone torches, right? Bigger. Uh, make like 30 of these. And... Hey, wait for it. There we go. Make 10 of those. And unfortunately now I need to see logic controllers. Right? Uh, let's say five. Oh, dang it. Five. There we go. Uh, okay, cool. Like, I wasn't sure how much solarium I had left. Silicon's kind of close, too, but it's uh, not so bad. I'm glad I have a uh, pretty good sized capacitor in here. This is nice and quick. Here we go. So let's go back to our limited item filters now. And let's go ahead and drop those in. Oops, you too. Alright, so hope I have a good amount of paper. I'm not sure how much I have. I have one. Great. Uh you know what though? I mean Well, if I paid closer attention to what I was doing. I actually I'm just gonna say I can make a lot of paper. Uh, let's go ahead and drop soul vials in too. You there. Five. You Five of those. Perfect now. So what I'm going to do is come down here and I can work with this. I'm going to have to add in some controller slaves here soon though. Yep. You are going to actually, you get the filter on insert. You are going to be extract always active into here. Now, one thing I want to have also, yeah, you're your moot point anymore. So, one thing is, uh, fails, right? We're up to 19 already. That farm is kicking butt. So, if I go here, right, and tell you, hey, I want, wait, can I do, yeah. Keep eight of these in stock at all times, right? And the hell, man. There we go. Much better. Like all of a sudden it's like, oh, I turned that on to extract before I uh, set the filter up. All right, so there is our hay bales for creosote oil. Now I'm going to need crude steel ingots, which is an alloy smelter recipe of gravel, clay, and cobble. So, going to here, I will keep like 16 of each, I think, in stock. I am going to have to automate clay here soon. Shouldn't be a huge issue. And uh, cobblestone. Right. There are a few ways to make clay. Uh, mystical agriculture is one of the ways to make clay. So I might just do that. And then you, you, and you could be like that and go back here. You could see, yep, there we go. Don't think I'm going to need any extract speed upgrades there. So crude steel is taken care of now. Crude oil and an alchemical imbuer, which is something I haven't made yet, is a quarter of a bucket of creosote oil plus one crude steel ingot equals a quarter of a bucket of crude oil. Which we can turn into naphtha. If we use a reflex column, then we actually uh, goes 
200 to 150 or 200 to 200. Tarball stays the same. And uh, the Tarball, we need, well, for this, and that was it, huh? We can use it as fuel. Uh, we can use it as fuel or turn to three things that need slime balls. Okay, so. Fuel it is. <laughs> All right, not a problem. It'll be a little bit of supplementary energy production, so. All right, so I need to make an chemical, a chemical imbuer. So I need one of these things. Um, surprised about the reception coil. Not so surprised about the, uh, the brewing stand, though. Grab all those, put those there. Ah. At first, in the bottom of a smell tree that really should have been moved like five episodes ago. So, the coil reception is just gold. Okay, cool. Yeah. And one of those, we only got like 14,000. We're, we're fine on gold. And boom, done. Leave one here so I can just go ahead and craft this up immediately. Alchemical and viewer. Awesome. Quest? I don't know. All right, so thermal, we have alchemical and viewer. Creates potions and oil. Wow, I just got eight redstone ore. If I run that through the induction smelter, right, it produces, oh, just eight? Oh, it used to do a lot more. Nine with a tectonic initiator. 12 if I have the pyro concentrator, which, yeah. No, yeah, um, you know what? I'm just gonna sag mill it. I've got good grinding balls in there, so. Uh, I used to be uh, redstone ore plus sand equaled a block of redstone. So, thinking this still would have been the better bet. Uh, yeah, we got almost two full stacks out of that instead of nine blocks of redstone or eight blocks of redstone. So, pretty decent improvement there. All right, so we have you there. Uh, we need our fractionating still. Didn't I make one of those? Uh, if I did, it would be over here. Hey, look at you. I need the reflex column, though. So, this thing. I'm missing conductance coils. Okay. Uh, let's see, redstone. And then let's just look up ingot. Need some of that, and I need some of that. In here. Yep. Oh, cool. You're done. So let's just go ahead and grab ourselves a stack of iron. Can I run iron and coal coke through the alloy smelter? Oh, yeah, I can. All right, cool. So how about we do that and that? You can do that in the meantime. You're currently empty? Good. You're going to be coming with me. Oh, I've only got one coil augment in you. Oh, okay. Oh, I can make more. Enforced obsidian ingot. That's just used... Oh, the party pickaxe. Right click for a surprise. Mending enchantment on it, though, too. Bad. The surprise, by the way, is a... Uh, it places a cake where you right click. Let's go back to our reflux now. I did not mean to put you there. I meant there. Hey, look at that. Awesome. Another quest? Wow, really? Wow, that one's actually not a quest. Lux Reconstruction. Oh, yeah. Essence of Knowledge and Power to Repair Items. In the uh, Energetic Infuser. Uh, is over there right now. So now I just need a small portion of an area. 
to uh, put all this down at. So I'm thinking, wow, that's I already used half of the. Yeah, this thing is. Oh my god, there's one of those guys in there again. I need to figure out what's doing that. I really do. All right, so we have our ender chest right here, right? Triple cyan. But do I still have in here my regular filters? I do. Perfect. And I have some item conduits, so we're going to go kind of like that for now. And our redstone furnace is going to go here. Right. You are going to be... Well, you're definitely going to accept items from the top. But you're going to be filtered to only allow hay bales to go in. Right. Not that. Dang it. This one. All right. You'll do this, and then you're going to make us the uh, stuff, right? That needs to go into the alchemical imbuer. All right, so you're going to be accepting items on the left. Well, fluids on the left in this case, but yeah. And you're going to be pushing items, or well, I don't know where the items are going to go yet. Probably back out the top, but you're going to be pushing fluids to the right. Which looks like you did. Alright, great. Let's go ahead, actually, and grab another one of these. And that's right, I haven't put down the power conduits. I'm like, why didn't it connect? I'll worry about something I haven't done yet. I keep seeing that little island right there floating over the top of this, and I think it's a mob staring at me. Doing spotting on top of the mob farm. All right. So there's that. Okay, cool. Now we're also going to need. Did I put it in here? My uh, my mistake. Yep, I did. And I'm going to need a capacitor. I really don't care how fast this one runs right now. If I need to later, I can speed it up. Uh, we are going to put you here. We'll give you this. You are going to be... Well, insert for sure, but you're going to be filtered as well. With you, you, and you. Now, if I throw those three things into here, we're going to have... Ta-da! Crude steel. All right. Now, you're going to be inserting in the top. Uh, you're going to be filtering crude steel. So, you can go into there. And now your items, or your fluids, though, are going to be pushed out the right-hand side. You're going to go into the fractionating still. Uh, do I have any upgrade kits left? I have an augment I need to install. Uh, hardened upgrade kit would be fine. Uh, you, there we go. Right, and then your items are going to be being pulled out the top because you'll be producing tar balls. And that's where you come in play. Because you are going to be insert on brown. Now your items at the top, right? Like this, you will be extracting on brown uh, charcoal. And cool thing about Ender IO filters is you can drag and drop, like so. All right, so always active. Boom. That'll go into there and dump it into the system where I've already got a home for charcoal. You eventually are going to get more stuff, right? More, well, you're going to get oil eventually. Um, right. You go into here. 
now crude steel in the fractionating still, or the alchemical viewer, sorry. I need 250 buck millibuckets of creosote oil. So let's just go ahead and turn this on. Should see these machines light up. Oh, um, alloys only, please. Thank you. It is making smooth stone, which is something that has nowhere to go right now. Alloys mode only will keep that from happening. Because that is literally the only alloy you can make out of any combination of those. Uh, you're going to be extracting on green, always active. You should be inserting into green here. There we go. Inserting into green. We're at 200 millibuckets of creosote oil now. Okay. And... One more cycle, we should have enough to have this thing run anyway. This is why I do limited item filters. There we go. Otherwise, I'd run a chance of like filling up the entire thing with cobblestone and not having room for like hay or clay or anything else. All right, and then you go into here. You're doing the fractionating still thing with your crude oil. And, boom, we got tar, we have naphtha. Now, I need to make this into refined fuel, so I'm going to need another fractioning still and reflux column. And that shouldn't be too hard to make, really. No, that's nutrition. Damn, I put my warp wagon. I like never use this thing, I just fly around with an angel ring. But, uh, much quicker. All right, so... Reflex call it. Why are you dark up there now? That's weird. Okay, right, cool. Heading up for everything. Fractionating still. And everything. Right, so did I filter you on the insert? I did not. Probably should filter you on the insert, actually. Just, you know, just to be safe, just in case. Right, you're going to need to know about tar balls, and you're going to need to know about charcoal eventually, right? Yep, tar ball, done. Actually, dang it. Okay, there's our charcoal, which I thought I... I, I, I gave you an extract filter for that, didn't I? I don't know. Why? I don't know. There we go, and you can go. Our balls I'm going to put into a drawer here after a while, so I just need to do that to clear it. There we go. All right, so we need fractionating still number two here. Uh, here's a question. Can I make a hardened upgrade kit? Yes. Okay, perfect. And you are going to also get this. Whoop. Now we go here, input items, or input fluid anyway, on the left, have some power. You need to empty your tank, to, there we go. Now we're doing naphtha, so you're going to be yeah, running slowly. Uh, let's put you on to extract brown, always active, yellow. And we'll do red to the right. All right, so we've got some refined fuel. We did not get any sulfur this time. But since I know what the product is, I can just look up sulfur and be like, uh, hey, uh, you know, that's the thing. Need to know to expect that every once in a while. There we go. Uh, you're going to be yellow right there. And awesome. Everything is working like it should. And we are making refined fuel. Now this stuff, well, I need that to make titanium. So that is one out of five things I have to automate. Get this stuff. And you know what? I'll take that back. Nice tight little system. And uh, 
could have made it one block tall or shorter, you know, two blocks wider, but oh well. It works. And I need a home for you. Uh, how about that all the way full? It is, okay. How about there? And now to fix that, because I think I had one piece of tar. Oh, I actually had a few pieces. Here we go. When I was doing it before. Oop. And we've got tar. So. Awesome, but we also have refined fuel. And we can get rid of all of that now. Refined fuel can also be used in generators for a decent amount of power. But I am going to need probably oh, quite a few of these ultra alloy smelters. Actually, I have 13 pages of recipes. We can make Mirian in an ultra alloy smelter. That's that, that's nice. <laughs> I hate automating Mirian. Okay, so looking at what, like uh, two? Three, four, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. and then nine, I think, for all other processings, right? Yeah. We can run all the hydrotrops through the same thing because it's all the same fluid, so... All right, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we got ourselves a wheat farm running. Uh, it's running pretty good, actually. I'm impressed by it. Hello. That is freaking loud. I heard it clears the bell down here. Uh, yeah, I need to get... Like, dice seeds automated would be good. Uh, basalt, limestone, and yeah... Nether wart. I still haven't done nether wart. You know what? Farmer. Point. You face away from me, right? No, you face towards me. Okay. I'll see. Yeah, thanks. Face to know. All right, so we'll just do extract. Oh, no, dang it. Insert, no extract. Extract always active. Power. And it's gonna run until it fills up this buffer here. This is the seed buffer on this side. Once this is full, It'll start outputting to here. Problem is right now it's searching a nine by nine area in front of it. So it not as fast as it could be. But I mean it'll work. So and how is our, our wart doing over here? Uh, we still have six extra, plus there's a full stack over here, so. I need to check in again to see what I need to do with the void for. I think I was looking at it in here. Yeah, uh, osmium. The ultra. Okay. Apparently the uh, inter generator too, but no. And we can turn it into vapor levity. Which is used to make vibrant energy cores. So this is why I want to get into the mechanism tanks. Because I just want to have a massive amount of all the fluids. But I guess um, I can get similar effects. Can I make that? Mm, well, I can craft it by itself to empty it out, I think is what that is. But there's the demonically gargantuan drum. Demon ingots, climb bottles, which are pretty easy. Reinforced large drum, which is diamonds, which I've got an amazing amount of now. Gold pressure plates, iron, which is iron. Okay, not a problem, right? 
Um, you defeat it. Glass bottles, ender pearls, demon steel, or demon ingots, sorry. Diamonds, gold, and gold pressure plates, that's two. Uh, one tier three crafter probably would not be enough, actually. That's kind of annoying. It really is actually annoying. <laughs> one crafter is not going to be enough. Dang it. Uh, I could do a tier one crafter next to it for iron. And one of these times here, I need to show off how I'm going to automate just insane amounts of all the ingots, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.